Slow and steady, numbers are increasing upwards. Everything is green, let's talk. It's Manny Baga with the Baga team from Roller Page Magna. Welcome back to our monthly stat segment. In this segment, we are discussing what happened in last month as we are every month is discussing. Good news for all the viewers today is all the numbers. Doesn't matter you're in sales, doesn't matter you are in in listings or in average price, everything is green. Hey, green means always good. Red means always not good. So let's dive in what's happening in the system. I know my partner is not there, I'm by myself, but hey, you guys not gonna put me down. I wanna catch your, get your heads up and put, give me your feedback. What's right, what's not right, what's thumbs up, what's thumbs down. Hey, stay tuned at the very end my best advice for you all the buyers and sellers will be at the very end so let's start let's jump in straight what happened in first month of 2024 it will if we're looking at an average all residential properties look at this slide the average numbers are three hundred ninety nine thousand dollars which is 2.5 percent market went up in that small segment second one your detached home Detached homes are averagely sitting at $484,000 in Edmonton real estate market, which is minus 1%. Just went down. So now we check the all properties. Now we're dissecting every segment in individually where they're sitting at it. So detached homes are sitting at $484,000, which is only 1% less than month over month. So the next segment, I have a semi-detached home. They're sitting at a $378,000, which is 4% up. So I'm gonna jump into that thing. Why that one small detached home, which is a semi-detached home jump up, it just brought the price bracket. Right now in between $250,000 to $450,000, the bracket is so high demand. Any property comes, it just gone snapped in a days. That's why because of the demand, because of the affordability, because of people's are high demand in that segment, that small little segment is going creeping up quite a bit. That's why last month that property went to 4% up. So let's talk about row houses and townhouses. Row houses and townhouses are sitting at $269,000, which is also 2.8% up. Hey, direct correlated into it. Price bracket, those people are in their target market. They are buying it. That's why those numbers are getting up. So it's good news. Last month to date, it's a 2.8% as, as a row houses and townhouse one. And apartment and condos, they're sitting at $193,000 and, and that is 12.8% increment up. Can you believe it? That's a high demand. You know why that happened in all the apartments and condos are high demand and it's 12.8% went up. It just only average price, which is the month to over month. Number one, the rents are creeping up. All those rents are coming renewals. They are renewing their, their rents because the rents are getting more higher than the, even the payments. So the people are sitting on a fence, they are start buying. So now those condos who are sitting at $100,000, $120,000, they are start creeping up. I can say that a good condo used to be sitting on the market for days and days. Now it's snap up just like that. So right now, that's why you will see all those four uh, segment of different market share. You will see that there's two properties are on high demand number one is a condo and apartments that is and number two is your row houses uh, sorry semi detached home those are the two brackets are going upwards so hopefully this will answer to you what's happening into the average price of a properties now let's flip the coin how many properties we came in the market right now total inventory in Edmonton real estate market right now sitting at close to 4,540 properties. That's a total inventory because inventory is going down. If the inventory is going down, um, demand is high up, what is gonna happen? Price gonna go up, price gonna go up. Right now, last month, 2,195 total properties came, which is 49.3% higher. So inventory came higher number in January month. It's, it's un believable I never see it that how many properties came in the January month but again on the same token the consumption is also there now they look at this flip side last month 1439 property got sold which is 17.5 percent is month over month high volume because comparing to December month to January month 
it sold higher. So if the listings are higher, the sales is also higher on the same token too. So if we looking at it now on the days in the market, so we already saw the hey inventory and then we saw the sale. So now let's check how much time it take to sell all properties in the market as a detached home. Last year it was close to 65 days, now it's sitting at a 60 days, so it takes less time to sell the property. And if I look at a semi-detached property, last year was sitting at it on close to 50 days, now it's sitting at it only 53 days. And if I say row houses or 10 houses, there was last year for 63 days, now it's sitting at 53 days. So it's taking you less time to sell it. Apartment and condos, last year was 62, 82 days. 82 days, now 65 days. Can you believe it? 82 days versus 65 days, it's creeping up. That's why those numbers, which as I explained to you earlier, that hey, 12.8% month over month, the price went up. Same thing because um, um, uh, when the price went up, demand goes up and the days in the market get shrinked down. So that's why it takes more or less time to sell the property in the market. The last but all least, if we can combine all the properties in one place and say, hey, if people are moving from out of town, they wanna say, hey, how much time it takes a good property to sell? It, 60, six days as well as last year, now it's looking at 59 days. The peoples are in average in Edmonton real estate market. It takes somewhere, I can say, 59 days, two months of time frame. People are coming from out of town and say, oh my God, this property has been in the market 45 days, not sold, something wrong? No, that's not the case. It's not like a Toronto or Vancouver market when the property hits in the market and got snapped into a days or so because the average days in the market is somewhere 60 days. That's how much time it takes. So that is our sales, average price and list price. Let's jump in. What happened to our high low rollers? High rollers last month. Can you believe it that most high expensive property and detached properties sold for $1.7 million. That's the most highest detached home got sold. Semi-detached home was $780,000. That's the most expensive property got sold. Row houses and tan houses, the most expensive got sold for $645,000. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. Can you believe it? Apartment and condos in Edmonton real estate market sold for $2.9 million. That's the most expensive property got sold in January. I'm talking about apartment and condos. That is insane. That market is coming creeping up at this moment. That's why those numbers, if you're looking at a 12.9%, is also getting up. So we are catching up Toronto, Vancouver, all those markets where the apartments are selling for three, four million dollars. Hey, we are not behind. People are still love Edmonton more than anybody else. Hey, because I love Edmonton, I live in Edmonton, I breathe in Edmonton, I I, I can, can say I love Edmonton. But so nutshell, for the people that are watching on a buying side or selling side, my tip for those people are there. Um, I was in a forecast last month and I, I also hear a lot, a lot of people in, in, in industry, which is in a financial or they are in, in moving people. A lot of bigger eyes are on Alberta. Alberta is on, on search engines right now. A lot of people are moving from other places. They are trying to invest. They are trying to think about it, the Edmonton, that Edmonton will be the one of the best market. I can say there's a three reasons for me. Number one, it's one of the cheapest place. It doesn't matter you wanted to buy or you wanted to rent. Number two, affordability. Affordability is much, much better than any other province. Number three, the buying process. If you buy in any other province or so, our taxes are much lower. It doesn't matter, we don't have a PST. We do not have any other welcome tax for when you're buying a property. Those are the very good increment for the people that are coming from out of town to down here or they're moving in. Hopefully, this all information will be more valuable for you before I can go back I wanna wish you guys all a happy Valentine's Day. Hey, guys, I will love you guys all. Your love, your, your strength, your, your is our moving confidence. Your thumbs up, your thumbs down, your comments are so valuable for us. Hey, I wanna wish you and your family a great, happy Valentine's Day. Hopefully this Valentine bring you all the happiness in your family. But before we can go, I wanted to see if this video is more valuable for you or you think that somebody else is more valuable. Make sure you share this video with them. Also, 
please comment below what you guys like. What do you think that how's the 2024 market's gonna happen in the Edmonton real estate market? Please comment below so we can answer back onto, onto this place. If you guys have any questions which is we need to answer back in our, our monthly stat, hey, we'll be happy to involve onto those things. But before you guys go, hey, hit the bell button and subscribe. We will bring you our brand new other video next month. As you know that we are bringing tons of tons of valuable content every week in our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe and also share. I guys love you guys all. Your feedback is so important for us and I'll see you next month with my partner. I love you guys all.